G'day everyone, and welcome back to the server, and we are getting ready for episode 7. Baby and I are gearing up, we're going to the nether, and we're going to do some destruction. As you may have guessed from what I'm making here at the moment. I've only got a little bit of gunpowder at the moment, despite having the mob farm finished, I haven't got to set up the process. I'm not really um, feeling it at the moment, I want to take a break from that. Uh, and this should be enough anyway to do what we want to do. What are we doing today? Uh, we are working in the nether. Oh, g'day Bambi. Hi. Thought I could hear someone behind me. <laughs> Just organizing some stuff. Excellent. Uh, we are organizing some stuff. We are going to the nether. I've got an idea uh, for the nether for the general transport system in there. And I've dubbed it the nether tree. And as you can see, we have Funky Arts online as well. Who we've just done an introduction for. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I probably should have mentioned to him that we were recording, but never mind. It's all good. We're going to grab some another brick while we're getting ready. And my inventory is an absolute mess. Let's fix that up just quickly. I had to do mine earlier. <laughs> string. Uh, I can put that back for now. Sand. Oh, he's funky. Hi, funky. He arrived. Hey, funky. How are you? Look, he's not currently in the call. I'm talking to him as if he is. <laughs> yes, I'm so good, Hub. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all right. We're going to finish getting some stuff together. Don't need any signs at the moment. They were for the mob farm. Done with them for now. Buckets away. It's important to keep your chest organized. There's no point having organized chest if he's going to put stuff everywhere. Now saplings, is that chest for saplings? Or are they in here? We need dark oak saplings. Uh, oak saplings. I've got some on me. you got some on you? Yeah, okay. I've got uh, two stacks of oak saplings and four stacks of bones. That will do nicely then. I will also take something to make sure that we can set off this dynamite. Mm. I can just set up a bunch of pressure plates. Uh, yeah, I'll just grab a lever. We can manage it that way. Or maybe we can put up a few in case we destroy them. And yeah. Alrighty. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I think we've got just about everything we need. Got the TNT. Cool. Uh, do we have dirt? How are we going to grow these? You got dirt on you? Okay. To a good point. Yes. Take some dirt. Hold on. All right. You can handle the saplings and the dirt. Yep. Got it. I'll handle the dangerous explosives because that seems like a safe idea. <laughs> okay. I'll just stay 20 steps behind you. At least. The cow's disappeared. He went back to his people. <laughs> he has no people. <laughs> not on this island, anyway. Nope. His kind's not welcome around here. Whoa! Whoa! Ow! Ow! You know what I, you know what I didn't bring flint and steel. Ah, we're kind of stuck here, aren't we? Well, we got enough portals around here. We should be able to get back to base. Oh man! Come on. We could set up a gas farm here, I reckon. Hmm. But high out about there. Ah, oh, come on. Shot. There we go. And we'll probably hit the zombie pigment instead. All right. So, what we're going to do, I've done a bit of clearing out, is we're going to punch a hole into the ceiling. Uh, obviously, we don't have any enderpearls. That's one thing we forgot to bring. And I found a spot, I think it's about here. If I back up a little bit, you can see there's quite a good clearing up to the top there. Thanks for the torches. So, what I thought is we could break that down a bit. And we're going to plant oak trees, dark oak trees to build a giant tree up to the ceiling and then obviously you need dark oak to break through the ceiling. Um, if you haven't seen it before, the idea is you get yourself above the ceiling by finding the highest point of bedrock and then you end up pearl through and you sort of glitch through. You take a bit of damage, but it's not too bad. And then once you're up there, you plant dirt in a two by two. You don't plant dirt, you put dirt down in a two by two. And you keep growing dark oak trees until they actually punch through the dirt and then they actually punch through the bedrock as well. And then you've got yourself a nice entrance up to the ceiling. So 
I'm going to go all the way up here. Have a look around. There's a nice little plateau up here. Not for much longer. Up here. I do not have Fortune or Silk Touch, although Fortune doesn't work on Glowstone. Let's get rid of that. Uh, check our coordinates. We are up at level 103. I'm just slightly digging my way up to you. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Um, doot, doot, doot. A bit higher. Shouldn't have much more to go. He's going to be a big tree, though. Right up. All right, there's the bedrock ceiling. If I can get out to be safe in the end, that dragon is history. All right, so let's put one TNT here. Oh, I need my levers. Move some close down. Okay, let's see how fast the hobbit can move. Put it here. All right. I heard a bang. Yep, one. Another one. Oh, you are. <laughs> Ow! Oop. Mind your head. Uh. Whoop, tough <laughs> Ah! Block that off. And there. Cut. Reach. There we go. Alright, let's um, just clear this out old fashioned way. So you can see the bedrock from there, can you, Bambi? You're right at the top there? I'm good. We are going to have to build our way up to there with the trees. Crap, so the idea is we'll build the tree, we'll grow the trees from down the bottom there where the portals are, and then we're going to cut off the top of them, plant dirt on top, build more trees up, and uh, keep building it up. And then we're going to come back and add accents of uh, nether brick and maybe try some blocks from the ocean monuments, and uh, see how that look. I'm just going to blow up the rest of this TNT first. Oh, I'd love it so slow. I know. I'm just looking at it, going, why is it taking so long? That's lava. And this, whoa! I made a hole and I said, "Yep, I'm going to go down there." Hmm. Nope. Fire in a hole. You're late. <laughs> I knocked out my pillar. I was like, "Look how many blocks are left between me and the lava that's below me." Thanks. Yeah, that's good. You're good. I have to wait for this lava to go down. I swear, those mushrooms over there. Look like spider's eyes for a second. They kind of do. Playing too much modded Minecraft. Come on, just go. Fire already. <laughs> God damn it. There we go. Hindsight. It's a wonderful thing. There we go. There's a, uh, a video for the ZipCloud server where they blew up the largest number of TNT in. Um, one hit and another, and it was just laugh everywhere. It's taken them ages to uh... throw something on it and let's run. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Run! Yeah, I'm gonna walk. Great. <laughs> Running. There we go. Ooh, leather cords. Don't mind if I do. And I'll put another one back there. I'll do this one. Okay. I'll move it the way. Okay. Ready, set. In the hole. Crap, nowhere to get into the hole. Ow. <laughs> and we've got, got one more. Alright, I'll do it again. Okay, you may do the honors. We also need to keep Run. all the, the netherrack we um, collect because we're going to need it for uh, building as well. Lava. Yeah. Is that more lava? That's the same lava, I think. Is it? Yeah. Why would you just die? <laughs> That's not bad though. We've used, only had like the six pieces of TNT, and we've, we can see the ceiling there and down a bit. Ooh. Shall we build up and put some trees on? Or? Um, well, we need to get above the nether before we can punch a hole in it, so we'll have to go back and get some ender pearls. So we might do that, wait for the lava to go away, and start planting some trees down here as well. 
Okay, no problems. So once we're up there, you got to stay up there until you punch the hole. Ah. And if we make a platform up underneath it, then we'll be able to get back down again once we have the hole. Buckle, buckle. Oh, nice. Thought you were going to, like, jump across the tip of the lava and keep going. Nice. Watch out, watch out. Oh, you're about to walk in. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nah, it's all good. Zara. It's never any real danger. <laughs> all right, so we'll be back in a minute. And we're back in the nether. We stopped by Hollywood's place, got some bones, a couple of ender pearls, and let's see what else we got. Everything else we need, I think. Except you're giving me oak saplings instead uh, of dark oak saplings. My bad. Go, I'll be back. <laughs> okay. I'm not uh, sure if we have any. I know um, Funky Arts is over in a tree farm, so maybe. That's right, I think we've got some somewhere. I'll go grab some. to get you some. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to pan out some dirt here and have a talk about where we're going to do this. Okay, and like that. So we want to. So that's like one tree there. Plant one tree here. We'll see if they can be planted directly next to each other or not. I'm just trying to think of the, the shape and the size we want to make this. It's a pretty easy resource. We don't have to go and actually, you know, farm it. We just need to grow the trees and then trim the bits off we don't want. So we can just make this one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, six by six. I'm working in even numbers again. Seems to be happening a lot to me lately, but that's okay because I think it'll look good. And we're going to reinforce it with another brick as well once the trees grow. So it looked like um, a tree that's supposed to grow in the nether because, you know, wood in the nether works fine. Anyone care to place any bets how many times this is going to get shot up and burnt down? Feel free to leave a comment. Clear this out a bit more. Um, a bit more TNT would be good up there. Never mind. Let's just pull up a bit All more right. bamboos off getting the saplings. Back in a minute. That's okay. Well, no, we have some. I think we have ten. We don't have any, do we? Um, I'm just trying uh, to see. I think well, they didn't have to maybe get started. Renata might have some because I know he was doing a lot of dark wood. Ah, yes. Another person we have to do an introduction for. So many people, it's so um, hard to keep track of. Come through. Come through for us. Nope. Never came through with us. All right, well, I'll go chop down some more trees. He... Okay, this pigman, he's asking for it. There he goes. Ah, oh, that was really pathetic. Anyway, best not to anger him anyway, even his friends. We don't get along. This out, this will help the trees to grow a bit better. I'm going to need 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Probably about 10 okay. layers of trees to get to the top. I think that sort of width plus the nether brick will make for a pretty good looking nether tree. Might want to take a little bit bigger. I suppose, like I said, it is renewable. You can get the saplings and the wood easy enough. So let's take it out. As you can see, I've planned this out brilliantly. Everything always appears in my mind as brilliance, but when it comes to putting it into effect, it's not always the case. There we go. And if you run by the storage house, we could probably use another. Okay, sure. I couple of stacks of dirt. Just chopping down some of the we'll make dark oak trees easier. at the moment. Yeah. We need how many? How many stacks did you say we need? Ten. No, I just ran out. The trees, in terms of like they need of, to be. Of. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to grow them, and then we're gonna have to prune them, plant dirt on top. Grow them again, probably about 10 mm. times. I reckon that's, that's just we'll a testament, though. I need more, mainly less. I'm actually. What you know, we should have done is actually bought a chest. Okay. Funnily enough, Funky's actually here next to me as well. He's trying to get dark oak saplings. He's a little disappointed because they don't give out much. Yeah, not the best drop boats. Oops, I was stuck on the door. 
There we go. Come on. And we're back. Bambi has been on a supply run. We have more dirt. We have the dicoic saplings. I'm going to plant them up and see how much they will grow. We have uh, I put a chest back over there. Two chests with some... Uh, just to dump our stuff in pretty much. Wow, see how far we can get these to go. Yep. I don't know how well they'll grow being so close to each other, but... Uh, I better find out. Do you be ready with the <laughs> axe in case yeah, I, I need to get you, you, out be, of you be ready to disconnect because oh, maybe I just we need to dig you out. Oh, I don't know. You should plant the rest. <laughs> All right. So this is um, 10 by 10, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, right. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know, go big or go home. Here we go. This one. Yeah, it's darker. Whoa. The leaf color looks different in here. Let's do this one. Too close? Too soon? Doesn't have a clear line of sight from the roof, I think. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I don't have I don't have clear that out enough. Oops, sorry. Accident, promise. Run away. I'm tempted to use an enderpearl to go back up again, but don't have that many. Okay, let's go where to do it. So we're gonna need all the wood that we chopped down to fill in the gaps and stuff. Nicely done. So, dig some more of this out. Have some more bone meal over here. Okay, it doesn't want to grow. I got ones in the center. One group. Ones in the center grow fine. It's just right. the Ooh. ones on the outside because of the, the block height. So, are we going to start to break it, taking these down? Or? Yeah, that's cool. That's, that's, yeah. Oh, not the wood, just the leaves? So take all the leaves down. Um, maybe if we actually get above it. And oh, okay, cool. No problem. I'll it, put this wood back then. Another layer of dirt. We can leave gaps, though. Because okay. Don't forget to uh, collect so the saplings finish. down here. Because we're going to need them. Oh, God, yeah. Cannot let them go to waste. So that's the basic idea. We'll uh, show a bit more of this and then we'll cut it because you don't need to see us doing this all day. Put a hole down there. And what I might do is just quickly craft some nether brick. Yep. Oh, good. I was just seeing if that was my path. I built there a path to get up right. somewhere. Yeah. Okay. I don't know where I built it. Yeah. Never matter. Okay, that's a good okay. start. Doesn't have to be perfect either. That's not what we're not what we're about here. So we'll do some more clearing out, and we'll show you when we're ready to do the second layer. Okay, like I said, I didn't really like the dark oak. Uh, everything seems to be slightly different in the Nether in its texture. So uh, Bambi and I have been working here on some different uh, palettes to have a look at. We have I press F3 just to help me out here, so I don't derp as much. We have birch. Acacia, uh, standard oak. We also have up the back there dark oak, which I still think has a green tinge, and spruce. Um, I tried all the other blocks in the sort of color palette that I could think of. We've got red sandstone, red sand, brown clay, gray clay, and black cr clay. I almost tripped then. Um, personally, I think the spruce mixed with the three different clays here will give the, the best result. I would really like some, some user feedback. Uh, I also trying obviously mushroom blocks here, which look just kind of creepy, I think. I don't know why, but it looks like jelly or something. Um, so let me know what you think. Today what we're going to do, it finish off, is actually punching the hole through yes, the sir. ceiling. So Bambi, are you ready? As you can see, we've unarmored. I've put all my armor in here, just in case we have some sort of disaster here. We've got ender pearls. We have got dirt. We have got dark oak saplings and bone meal. I do, so yep. I've got some on me. Uh, ben, do you have a couple of stacks of dirt on you so you can pillar up as well? Mm. Shoot those yeah. slimes. All right, so let's go this way. And I have to clear out all these dark oaks. The wood won't go to waste. Mm. That'll be used for other things. Okay, so 
yeah. round about here -ish, up okay here, sure and i'll just side. keep going up so if you want to pillow up like there mm -hmm. okay cool just occasionally check your uh, head height and i'm just going to double check something i'm going to keep recording yep that's fine that's what i would okay So worst case scenario, if for some reason we were to get stuck up and above the ceiling, yep. whoops, I didn't bring any tools now. Uh, so uh, don't build up any higher just yet. Worst case scenario, if we were to build up, to get up above the nether ceiling and get stuck up there, I can just use the admin command and do slash kill and we'd return to our bed spawns and we don't have mm -hmm. our armor. That's okay, I can, they're just diamond tools, so I can, I'm going to make some more. I've got some diamond laying around. Okay, now as you can see here, the sapling still breaks this, that there are spots in the ceiling that are higher than others. We are looking for a spot where it is the thinnest or the highest. So this block here, I think doesn't get any higher than that so if we tried to punch through here we'd be going through one two three blocks so this one is already there i don't know you can't see where i'm pointing obviously bambi oh yep okay cool so that's where we're going to punch through you see where i'm placing this block here okay so what i'm going to do first so you can punch yep, through okay. on a similar block like for example there I'm using the wrong term. Punch through is not the right term. We're actually just going to glitch through. We don't need to plant any saplings from this side. What we do is we're going to pillar up to one of those mm. spots. As high uh, as no, go. I don't have any on me. Sorry. Oh, did I give you ender pearls? I'll go. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Chuck it down. Oh. They Chuck it down here. I'll grab them. They down. No, I got them. I got them back. Uh, oh, there you go. Got them. Thank you. Again. Yay. I am, yep. I'm going to eat. Are you at full um, hunger? Because right, this is going to probably take okay. some damage. What we're going to do is we're going to spam some ender pearls in the ceiling. Now, we don't want to do too, too many. I'm going to go first. Uh, I'm going to do three. This is the first time I've ever done this, so I'm quite excited. All right, cool. So Let's I should three. try now? A few more. Okay, I'm up through. <sighs> yeah, don't oh, do did you no, toss it? It's too hard. Dang it. Okay, yeah, I'm up. Yeah, full damage. Didn't take any full damage. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm at half a heart. No, I'm in. Yes. Yeah. Just with half a heart. I might need to really? wear my armor next time for this one. Very good. Yeah. Feather falling boots. Hindsight. Yeah. Yes, think. I've got your... Yes, I've got your stuff. There's all my stuff there. Unfortunately, I've run out of inventory space. I might use some of this birch wood to chuck a chest up here. Alrighty. Yes, brilliant idea. Well, I'm getting ready to come back. Also, a quick sneak peek at... I'm not going to show you that one yet. I'm going to show you this. Bambi's chicken farm. Da -da -da -da. KF Bambi. Yeah, it's been it's been producing pretty good, going? actually. I've been <laughs> sort of spo well, sporadically checking it over the past few days. Um, it brings out a lot of chicken and feathers, that's for sure. If you're nearby in that chunk... You will get a lot out of it. So, yeah, well, now we're just having issues with yeah. what are we going to do with all the, um, the chicken and feathers. So. Yeah, I've taken some chicken out to cook. Uh, I'm going to make my way back to the nether. I'm going to have to stop off, I think, at Hollywood's place. He has some um, ender pearl. I'm going to check the mob drop chest, but otherwise I'm going to cut the video Get some ender pearls and head back over. So, uh, out of curiosity, how many well uh, ender pearls had did you use? Seven. Had, you had seven. How many did you have when you got to the top? Maybe. Well, you had sixteen. Um, I think I had, I had sixteen actually. Total, I had um, yeah. seven. I've got 11 on me at the moment because I picked up yours, so I probably went through maybe four or five, I think. Okay. 
Yeah, I did it. My I, my first I two, I did it slowly, and the third, five. third and fourth, I sort of spammed the two. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to bring just a normal shovel. If you'd like to. No, actually, you'll have to wait because if I try and come through where you're trying to build, I won't be able to get through. <laughs> All right. Oops, bad jump. Cool, cool. All right, I'm coming up. Oh, lucky. Building up. There's 13 enderpearls left in our mob drop chest. Yes, okay, so for anyone wanting to try this at home, at least take some the fine boots so you negate the, almost negate the damage of the ender pearling because that's what happens with ender pearls. You take uh, feather falling damage. Ah, uh, feather falling damage. Okay. I suppose alternatively you could do um, golden apple, but that might not be enough. Probably would be a handy addition. Right. I'm going to try just three pearls this time. Oh, I can see you. I'm going to spam them. One, two, three. I think two is probably enough. I'm about to land again. Ready? Yep. No. Uh, we could be here for a while. Anticipation. That's all the stuff. <laughs> I think that's it. I think we're good. Yeah. Uh, a bit more to your right. So where did it come through? It's about here, wasn't uh, it? One more. Yeah, that's it. Right there. Right. Yeah. One more? Okay, I probably should have been more okay, precise about that. So what we do now is we put down two by two. We're going to take out a stack of bone meal and a stack of um, saplings. Go one, two, three, four. No, I've got no, I've got an axe. Okay. Do you happen to have an axe? If not, we can just punch it or make a... Okay. So do you want to break just the bottom layer, please? And that, we plant them again. What happens is, and then keep doing that, this has a chance to grow downwards for some reason, and it will go through the dirt, and then it will go through the bedrock. How do we know? Oh, the bottom blocks will turn, obviously, into... Okay, so I'll just keep yeah. checking. Well, usually only one of them. Mm -hmm. We should see it when we Whoa. break the, the wood. I'm in a tree. <laughs> Whoop, there we go. That's the... That's the ticket. That's <laughs> it's stuck in the tree. That's the glitch. Interesting. I've never seen that before. It grows downwards. Oh. Yep. See? See, it hasn't actually taken out the wood, but if you break this bit of uh, these logs here that have actually spawned outside of the dirt on the ground. Oh, yes, it did. Uh, oh, I didn't quite Maybe. Let me go down. Hold on. Give me a second. On that side? If you oh, can see dirt, I can, not bedrock. It there's not enough space to go through here. Just, we're just out by a little bit. Oh, are you kidding? Um, so we might, oh, hold on, there's another block here. Hold on. Okay. Oh, there's one more uh, there. Let me, give me a second. Yes, I'm through. Down. Okay, so that's a, that's a good start. What we would ideally like is to have a, a straight access through. Let me just mark so this spot so that way we can remember which tree. one it was to go through. Yep. Okay, so I'll just cut the rest so of these leaves do down. Like Hold this on. Now. All right. Please. All right, go for it. Okay, I don't know if this is going to interfere All right, I'll with the tree, though. We might need to. Oh, there we go. Meanwhile, I'll try. You'll soon tell me. Okay, that grew still. Enough wood for it. Okay. All right, you. Uh... The crafting table. Yeah. Now, in case you're not sure why we're doing this, I might have mentioned it already. We're going to be making a rail system up here. The advantage is that zombie pigment won't spawn on top of the bedrock here. If you were to make a platform high up in the sky, you can get them to spawn on that, as you would have seen probably many YouTubers do to make um, zombie pigment farms, uh, but they won't spawn here. So 
we'll be able to run track in different directions, punch another hole in this same manner, and then um, have a way to get down there. If you build your rail down on the nether, sort of the main nether area, uh, zombie pigmen will spawn on the tracks or, um, yeah, actually on the tracks. That's something that they changed recently, which not too many people have okay, that. Yeah, well, we've got some that are going through. It's just whether or not they uh, no, line up. That one doesn't. Sounds like it's sounds like it's on fire. This we just want a clear way oh, through, basically. Hold on. Yep, I guess oh. we can just keep repeating this. Yes, clear way through. A nice spot. One way. Uh, let me just build my way back up. Nice. Lead done. I'll mark this spot with a piece yep. of netherrack so we know which spot it is. And I'll cut down this tree here. Excellent. And I'm just going to get my coordinates up just so I can, I can... Whoops. So I can kill myself. No. Don't do that. Okay. Just so we can get a recording of it right here. So my coordinates are X15 and Z141. Now, I have heard that the nether is the same for everyone in terms of the bedrock ceiling. So if you come to these coordinates in your Minecraft world in the nether, you should have um, similar luck. There's also some spots where there is bedrock. Ah, I'm stuck. We might have one here. I don't know. We'll have to do some more testing. But <laughs> bedrock. There is a block of nedrock. A block of bedrock? <laughs> nedrock. It's an Australian one. Um, where there is a gap above it. So there's one bedrock, then air, and then another bedrock. So like here, actually. Depends what's underneath this one. If there's space underneath this, then um, what you can actually do is get a wither to spawn and then push it up in a piston. And when it heads in here, it won't suffocate, but it also won't attack you. So if we can find a place like that, then we can set up an easy uh, wither grinder. And if you've watched my other episodes, you would have already seen how well I fare against the wither. So that might be a way to go. No, I don't think he's up here. I think he'd be below us. Gasp, but I'm not sure if he's up here or not. I really do need to check the rules on spawning because if you pillar up and make a platform, some pigment will spawn on it so they don't spawn down here because I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we're going to probably finish the episode here now. We made some excellent progress. We made it up into the another ceiling, which was the goal of this episode. Um, I'd love some user feedback on what you think about the uh, wood colors down below. So if you could um, leave a comment if you have anything, any different ideas or combinations, give us a hurl and we'll see what we can do. So as always, Bye. thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.